What's going on YouTube? Pick 6 back, bringing you another commentary. This one uh, I'm going to talk about actually what I think makes a great player. Just quick breakdown of the gameplay that I'm going to give you here. It's uh, domination. It's a big match. It's uh, similar to the last video I posted. It's I'm not going to spoil the ending. I'm not going to give you a lot of details about it, but it's the domination gets a lot of kills. And it may or may not involve a nuke for you guys that like the nukes, which apparently you do, because a lot of my videos that involve nukes get a lot of views. Well, for me, considering I have like 50 subs. Eh, you know, it'll improve. So today's topic I wanted to bring up was uh, about what makes a great player. And what brought this on to me was when I saw... That I don't usually follow the soap operas to do with YouTube. It just seems really nerdy to me, but it did bring it up. Uh, it did spark some interest in me the other day when I saw that Wings of Redemption said Sandy Ravage wasn't a good player. So it made me ask, what is a good player? And the first things that usually come to my mind, like logically, most other people would think of it too, are your win loss uh, ratio, your KD. And uh, the weapon choices, for some stupid reason a lot of people think weapon choice is important, but I'll, I'll touch on the first two first. Win-loss, I think, the, and I mean the stats obviously reflect a certain portion of how good you are. There's no denying that. To deny it would be horribly stupid. The point is though, when you look at win-loss, and I'm living proof of exactly why win-loss does not reflect how good of a player you are. When I would play on an old system called the Bell MiFi for my internet, which is like a mobile hotspot, which, by the way, you Canadian fans, don't go with anything Bell. It's a terrible company. Yeah, don't go with them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, when I'd use this, ma this MiFi, I'd frequently get disconnected sometimes almost five, six times per match, but then it would reconnect me to the same match. So, even if I won the match, say it disconnected me five times, even if I won the match, my KD for or my win loss for one match, one match, would be one in five. That's right. I'd lose five matches for the one match that I played. Now, if you're a fair person, how can you logically think that I have a fair shot of being analyzed for my win loss versus anyone else? I know when I go out in the most matches, me myself. I'm going to win most matches I play. I call in nukes unbelievable, at an unbelievable rate. I do it purposely because I know I can carry a team myself. But when you look at a lot of how the win-loss reflects... Like, like it, you have to analyze the stat deeper is basically what I'm trying to say. A person with a terrible internet connection is probably not going to have a great win-loss connection even though they might be a better player than 90% of the people out there. And KD's similar along that track. Um, I lose a lot of gunfights that on a better connection I'd never ever lose. Like I'd have, sometimes I'll get hit markers on two FAMAS bursts when on a good connection it would have been one kill on one burst with almost no time in between the shots. And, and before you even start, I've already tried everything I possibly could to get a better connection for my internet to show how great of a player I would be. Problem is, I'm in rural Canada, so there's not a lot I can do about it unless I decide to move to the city. But I'm getting old, 23, so hopefully in the next few years or so I might be able to even rent out a place on my own. Who knows? I'm not rushing to decisions. Let me finish university first. A little sidetrack there. But yeah, going back to KD, it's... I think it's another internet-based uh, stat. If you have a good connection, then it'll reflect it. Um, plus, it your play style affects KD. If you're a rusher like Sandy Ravage or something like that, um, you're gonna have some great matches. You're gonna have some terrible matches. But it's your play style. It's, if you're more of a camper, like Wings of Redemption, you just sit back and rack up your high KD, that's also fine, I don't care. I'm all for playing smart and not going around getting myself killed for the sake of, you know, camping. But the point, and I'll touch on that in a minute. But, yeah, my point being that playstyle affects KD, how you have fun playing a game affects KD, if you screw around, if 
you go out for monstrous kills if you play smart using cover it affects kd so that's another one and and there's another point here modern warfare 2 is my first shooter first ever online shooter it's the first time i've even been able to get internet anywhere near my house so when i played this game my first like six months on it were terrible my kd was like 0.45 because at, at the time i didn't even know my connection was as bad as it was but adding the fact that i didn't know the guns i didn't know great spots i didn't know how to i didn't know how to do a lot that i do now so it clearly destroyed my kd problem is after playing the game for so oh, watch this boom <laughs> all those kills it was a nice uh that was a wicked ac 130 i love that but yeah if i watch a lot of older videos that i made when i didn't really know how to play they it killed my kd so even though my kd over the last you know year playing this game is probably over three to four the damage had been done. I racked up like 50,000 kills, 50,000 deaths. So my KD was never going to be great after that. But at least, at least, it's up It's up now. It's it's like at 1.9. But I'm over 100 some, something thousand kills in Modern Warfare. So my KD won't go up much unless I'm posting like 30 KD matches. Which I do on some occasions. But it's it's tough to do. Next point I wanted to bring up is going back to camping like I said I was going to reference. Camping's a tough one to define. To me, it's what X Jaws said, it's claymoring like say both entrances of a room and just sitting back with scavenger picking up your claymores or waiting for them to walk in the room. That's camping to me. See what I'm doing here if you're watching I'm behind uh, I'm behind the washing machines just sitting in their spawn waiting for them to come out. That's absolutely not camping, and if you think it is, you're an idiot and quit playing games. That's just playing smart, because if you're going around in their spawn, trying to mow them all down with a shotgun when you have high kill streaks running, fine. But you, I guarantee you, the second you kill a couple of guys, a guy that respawns on the other side behind you will kill you. So it's just not playing smart. It's dumb. Horribly dumb. This isn't camping. This is playing smart and using cover to rack up kill streaks to win games. If you consider that dumb, again, quit video games. I think I did a good job in this match showing the difference between camping and what isn't. Because if you notice in the start, they were constantly noob tubing the front of uh, that long alleyway. So I didn't. I last thing I wanted to do is give a noob tuber with no talent kills. So I just sat back. And I waited for them to come to me because I know their spawn was there and I knew they're idiots and they're going to keep rushing. So I just racked up my kill streaks and kept going. This match was close, so theoretically I didn't really need like to go for a nuke to win. But I like the idea of being able to win a match myself if I get stuck in a crap lobby with crap players. But point is, camping to me is sitting in one spot all match with ghost if it was black ops but i hate black ops i refuse to play it hit detections horrific i don't like the levels i don't like the spawn systems i found it boring after about a month playing it so i quickly sold it terrible game in my opinion um but i know i keep getting a little sidetracked <laughs> but i'll go back camping to me is just sitting in one space and not moving if you're moving around in one area like say in the back where a flag was or C flag is if I'm constantly moving around back there patrolling spawns making sure they don't come near the flag that's absolutely not camping absolutely not um, weapon choice is another thing I think that affects gameplay weapon choice is another thing that affects gameplay um, it's a big part of actually what influences a player uh, because sometimes you'll be stuck with crap guns for a while and then when you unlock the good ones it impacts it so you might be thinking, Anton or Pick 6, what actually makes a good player? To me, what makes a good player is being able to transition from, like, say, gun to gun and being able to master the recoil and what it takes to win. Uh, knowing when to play, when, when to rush, and when to play defensive. There's a key difference. Uh, knowing uh, in each map what weapon to take. And that's it. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll continue this in another commentary. Thanks a lot.